Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dioramas. I am your host, Tech Chucker. If you aren't familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for the coolest looking dioramas, and I showcase them right here on this show. If you would like to be showcased in a future episode, all you got to do is upload your diorama pictures to Instagram and tag them with the hashtag This Week in Dioramas. Now, if you aren't familiar, every week we're doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday episode. So welcome to the Wednesday episode. I don't have a ton of time because I need to get to work and I need to get to doing some studying. As I said on Monday, I had my first of two finals. Didn't go as well as I was hoping. I was really prepared. Well, I thought I was prepared. <laughs> We got to have our cheat sheet, all of that stuff. And still, boy, that man knows how to make a good test that is hard, even with a cheat sheet. So uh, I know I still passed, but you know, I did not get the A, I'm certain that I was hoping to get. But I've got another final that I gotta prepare for that's happening Thursday. And then of course, graduation happens on Friday. So this is a really busy week, which means we can't take too much more time jabbering on we got to get into the showcase i've got two great dios lined up for you today so let's jump right on into it all right here we go starting off with kristen burr so this piece really grabbed my attention uh, the ones where you guys take a picture with your hand in it, it really i really like that it's it's a fun effect that that gives it that scale feeling especially when a dial really looks realistic. And that is what this piece is. It's very realistic. I love this stone wall with the fireplace. That is a great touch. I love the way that that turned out. It's very kind of 70s feel to it in my book. Like I love this bookshelf. It actually looks very well, well put together. There's some nice decorations on here, some books, a couple little statue figures, and then some candles. That all looks awesome. And then you've got this wallpaper, which just looks awesome. All of the accessories look so good. And if we throw read in here, I'm throwing a bunch of final photos here, including some sexy nighttime shots. Ooh. Some shots with items for scale and some shots that show how lived in the mini den is becoming. Let's cycle through some of these because a lot of these accessories are so good looking. I love the little books. This book here, actually, what is that? Catch 22, I think, actually looks read and used, which is a really nice touch. I very much appreciate that. This chandelier like light that's hanging, that also really fits into the piece. It just, everything looks so realistic with the wood grain piece that you've got on here to really accent that looks so good. All of the books look so legit. I, I'm, I'm actually really intrigued how you would get such a realistic looking book. It just, wow, this thing looks so good. I am really impressed with the work. Very, very nice looking piece. So, oh, there's one of the scale items. Here's a X-Acto knife to give you a little bit more of that scale, a quarter. Very fun. The only thing that I noticed, and I'm not a big person to uh, provide feedback on anything, but here's the thing that I noticed. The fireplace should have some soot. That's the only thing that I would adjust. Throw a little bit of soot in there. Um, unless this is a brand new fireplace, there's gonna be some soot. But other than, other than that, this is the details are impeccable. You did an amazing job. And next, coming from David, Okay, David Argenartist. I don't know if I said that even remotely close to right. Let's get this video playing. This is a Ghostbusters building, and I gotta say, this is spectacular. You, uh, wow, it is amazing. Just look at the detail on this. There's so many detail pieces to this. Uh, piece of, uh, it's just amazing. And you did front, back, sides, top, everything is done. This is just an amazing looking piece. I am so impressed with it. And look at the front facade. It's so realistic looking that, uh, wow, wow. You just really nailed it. Every piece of this looks so realistic. 
I, I'm just, I'm kind of speechless as to how good this looked. Look at all the details up here. That is just so good. The paintwork, look at the weathering, you can see. And then you've got a different, completely different style on the back, or I guess this would be the side where there would be kind of like a, uh, an alleyway or whatever. Kudos to you, because this is just a spectacular piece. I'm so glad that I was able to find it and showcase it. I don't think that you have used the hashtag, so I think this, you might be a first time showcase on this show. Uh, welcome to the show. I hope that you will share more of your work because this is just impeccable looking work. You just really nailed it. And, and I don't know what your plan is for what you're gonna do with this piece. If you're selling it, heck, this could go into a museum. It is so good, so classy looking. I'm just so impressed with it. So awesome job to both of you. Thank you so much for those of you that have been using the hashtag week in and week out. If you aren't familiar, make sure you use the hashtag this week in dioramas when you post your dio photos to Instagram and I might showcase you in a future episode. Stay tuned, we've got our Friday and then Saturday episodes coming. So set your alarm, get your coffee or your beverage of choice or whatever it is, get it all ready hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, all that stuff. Share these videos out, especially to any diorama creators that may not know about the show yet. And I will see you on Friday.